Welcome sports betters from around the world. This is your friend Joe coming to you live from LA. Well, not live, but uh, recording and you know the drill. So uh, another good night last night in our premium private group. And uh, that reminds me, uh, you know, if you're not in there, sgdwins.com, sgdwins.com. I mean, what are you waiting for? Uh, I know a couple guys uh, came in there last night. They were really happy with the premium plays, the prop bets. I mean, it 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 is a winning atmosphere in there. I love it. I mean, I can't stress enough uh, how much guys that are in there are making money and uh, really getting a lot of information. I mean, it's it's great to see a lot of you guys in there and gals for that matter that are in there taking advantage of the plays, betting them. Uh, a lot more in-game betters also, which I like. I, uh, you know, last night we had the, a lot of people in our private uh, chat there, and it was great. It was great to see a lot of people asking qu questions. Uh, Toxic, you know, is doing very well. I know uh, he's been doing really good in live betting, you know, uh, and a lot of guys in there. You know, Pete, of course, that are with me. You know, Hoot by Night, you know, Dave, Mike, you know, uh, Ryan. I mean, all the guys, you know who you are. Uh, Greek Miner, special shout-out to Greek Miner. He's always on the ball asking questions in there. Hey, Joe, what do you think about this? Hey, Joe, what do you think about that? And he's always, uh, we did hit that plus 21 and a half, by the way, on the Jets. So <laughs> it looked ugly, but we won by a hook. But uh, but that reminds you, you know, uh, what a bad game last night with the NFL. I mean, uh, again, we dropped that video play on the first half under 23, went way over. Uh, only losses this week on my video have been the Monday night football game and the Thursday night. So go figure, uh, NFL is just, uh, as we would say in uh, the chat, a shit show. So <laughs> with that being said, let's get to some plays here because, again, it's Friday the 13th. Should be very well uh, received here. Uh, not a lot of games. I'm looking at here all my sheets uh, from uh, this morning that I printed out with basketball and uh, NBA and NHL. You know, only two NHL games. You know, a couple of NBA, not a lot of college basketball. So kind of a slow uh Friday, but uh, we found some value. I found a play uh, also. It's a first half play again. So let's go back to the winning way, the mojo here. And uh, this play, again, I checked with Pete, of course, my Purdue, uh, you know, Purdue Pete, my Big Ten uh, Indiana uh, specialist there. And uh, this game caught my attention right away because uh, myself and Pete had bet this game, the prior game. We were uh, watching Indiana play UConn. We were on UConn. It was uh, the Jimmy V Classic uh, a couple days ago in New York. So uh, it was kind of interesting. They played at Madison uh, Square Garden. Uh, you know, both teams, I mean, well, UConn looked very good at the beginning. Then they started looking like crap. Uh, you know, Indiana came back, scored. I mean, that thing was a, a rock fight in the second half. We bet the under live. We hit that. And uh, we just noticed how bad Indiana was. I mean, no offense to you Indiana, you know, fans, Hoosiers, uh, we got a guy in the chat named Hoosier. No offense, you know, but they did look pretty bad. Uh, now they're playing today the Cornhuskers, Nebraska, which is another bad team. But uh, I think I think the books have given Indiana a little too much value for winning uh, against UConn, like I said, in that, in that tournament. So <clears throat> I'm going to take Nebraska. Yes, you heard it right. Nebraska Cornhuskers plus 11 in my book for the first half. That's right, the first half. I mean, you're getting 11 points. I think it's a lot. I know Indiana's playing at home, you know, the whole hoopla and everything, but uh, I like this as a value bet. I'm only betting, like I said, one unit on this, and that's it. And again, just a reminder, I know guys ask me in the chat all the time, hey, Joe, what do you bet on your pregame? Again, I go between half a unit to a unit every premium play pre pregame or, uh, you know, what have you. So that's the way I do it. And then again, you know, you guys know I load up uh, in the uh, in-game betting, uh, you know, when games are going uh, on. Like, for example, yesterday we had that uh, late game with the Maple Leafs. Uh, we took the under, and uh, <laughs> I bet that thing like three times. A little scary, but uh, I said, you know what? Uh, you know, I, I felt good about that game uh, in the Hockey NHL, and it stayed under, so it was great. That was one of our wins. We also bet that Bruins and the Lightning early. That was an early game. So if you got – that reminds you guys, if you guys want – in our private group, just a reminder, if you guys want kind of like the pregame uh, breakdowns that myself and Pete and a couple guys give in there, get in the chat right before game time. We go over all our plays. Uh, I go over all our plays where I'm uh, leaning towards. And then, uh, you know, we get a jump on what we're going to take immediately. So yesterday I said, hey, guys, if we get a goal 
in this uh, Bruins and Lightning game. Let's jump on the under six and a half, which we did. We cashed that easily, not a problem. I cashed about three or four units on that. Pete uh, also bet that a couple of units, so it was a good, a good little cash out in that first game. So again, just a reminder. Uh, I know you guys are in our premium group. Just uh, you want to come in the voice chat a little earlier. Uh, we'll go over all the plays uh, where we're at. You can kind of write them down, kind of like what I always tell people. I write all my plays down and um, you know see where I'm going, which way, and uh, you know keeps me. Uh, Keeps it, keeps it like in a little, like I said, even keel, so I don't get crazy, uh, you know, going one way or the other. And perfect example yesterday, that Celtics game and Sixers, that was a game Ryan and I were talking about. He asked, hey, Joe, what do you think? I go, you know what? This is too much of a coin flip. It was like at halftime, you know, obviously the Sixers pulled it out, but I, I couldn't make a decision either way. Uh, I did take an under there uh, at 220, and I lost that live. So uh, it's just not a game that really caught my attention because the way it was going. So, again, tonight the Lakers play. That should be good. They're playing, you know, Miami at Miami. So uh, look for that uh, Miami, uh, you know, nightlife effect, as they call it, where teams go into Miami and they go out uh, the night before and party. So uh, I don't know. My Lakers are on a mission. I talked to Pete, and I think uh, I think the line's a little low. But, uh, again, uh, Miami is good at home. The Lakers have been good. I mean, the Lakers are on fire. So I think the Lakers are on a mission. They want to win this game. But if you want my complete breakdown of that game, and other premium plays, like I said, I'll be on the voice channel early, and I'll give you where I'm leaning on that. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, all the new uh, subscribers we're getting, I appreciate it, guys. You know what? We try to do our, our best every day to win. And again, if you want to come into our premium private group, sgdwins.com sgdwins.com gets you all the plays get you the in game and you get to talk to me so it's great uh you know and it gets crazy at night so you know again sorry sometimes we have uh you know people yelling in there and kids screaming but uh you know i do my best to keep that channel going and um you know i'm happy i'm happy so anyways see you guys later peace uh also quick programming note uh, i'll have a couple videos this weekend uh, you know, for some UFC. I know I have a buddy of mine that uh, is in the UFC, so hopefully I get a UFC video tonight or tomorrow on a couple guys. Also some boxing, I think he, he know, he's in the boxing. So stay tuned for that, guys. Peace and have a good one.